And as Trump wraps up his campaign stops in Philly, his next task, winning over the American people in the first of two debates between him and Biden this election season. Here with us is Trump 2024 National Press Secretary Caroline Levitt. Caroline, welcome to the show. Hey, thank you so much for having me. We are thrilled to have you. I'm looking forward to our discussion. We understand Trump is foregoing those traditional mock debates. Instead, he's undergoing intense policy discussions. How do you think that will help the former uh, president go into the debate on Thursday? Well, not only is President Trump meeting with policy advisors, he is also continuing with his very busy campaign schedule and meeting with the American people, the most important audience of all. Yesterday, he was in Philadelphia. He stopped at a cheesesteak shop, took questions from voters directly. He gave an hour and a half long speech last night in Philly. He was also in Wisconsin this past week for another very big rally on Tuesday evening. He also gave a speech yesterday in Washington, D.C. So President Trump is prepared. He constantly engages in hostile interactions interviews with the news media. This is something we don't see Joe Biden doing nearly ever. Uh, and we know that for the next week, Joe Biden is hunkering down, hiding away in the woods at Camp David with many policy advisors. The truth is Joe Biden can meet with as many advisors as he wants. You can tell him everything they want him to say. But the real test is not going to be whether Joe Biden can stand up on that stage for an hour and a half. It's whether he can defend his policies over the past three and a half years that okay. have led to a border invasion, the likes of which we've never seen in a record high inflation crisis as well. Well, we've heard the former president say that President Biden is a worthy opponent. He's a good debater. Is there any concern there? Absolutely not. President Trump is one of the best debaters that we've ever seen in American politics. He proved that in 2016, proved it again in 2020, and he will prove it again next Thursday night when he takes on Joe Biden. He has policy on his side. The vast majority of Americans believe this country is moving in the wrong direction right now. They remember their lives were better under President Trump's leadership when our economy was booming, our border was safe and secure, and President Trump was the first president in the modern era not to enter our country into any new wars. That's what the American people remember about President Trump's time in the White House, and he'll be reminding them of that on the debate stage on Thursday night. I'm glad you're mentioning immigration, because Trump in Philly said, quote, we have the unsafest border in the history of the world. However, Border Patrol report arrests that arrests are down 25 percent since Biden announced his new restrictions. Talk to us about the Trump debate strategy when it comes to immigration and sometimes not having those right numbers. Respectfully, that is an incredibly misleading statistic. We know for a fact that border illegal border crossings under this current administration are at a record high. In fact, last month's numbers were the 39th straight month in a row that they were higher than any time during President Trump's administration. We've had more than 11 million illegal people come into this country. They are crumbling the infrastructure in Democrat-run sanctuary cities from New York to Chicago. Uh, they have also let it's also led to a migrant surge in crime in this country. This past week alone, we learned that a mother in Maryland was killed at the hands of an illegal immigrant. We learned That's a 13-year-old right. was raped in broad daylight in New York City. Mm -hmm. And we just also learned that a 12-year-old was strangled and found in a creek in Texas, all at the hands of illegal people who entered this country because Joe Biden allowed them to. The American public are rightfully frightened about what is happening at our southern border. We need a leader who believes in border security. Caroline continue the construction of the border wall and who will re-implement the remain in Mexico policy that was very effective. And President Trump is the leader who is promising to do all of those I'm things. I'm just looking at some of the numbers. Border encounters have gone down 9,000 from April to May, down 19,000 from February. Can you respond to that? From April to May of this year, that's correct. They are still higher than they ever were by far under the previous administration. There have been, again, more than 11 million illegal people that we know of. Talk to any Border Patrol agent on the ground. They will tell you that our border is at a crisis level. In fact, uh, Barack Obama's former Department of Homeland Security uh, head said that in, in the Obama-Biden years, 5,000 crossings per week would be crisis level. We are seeing astronomical numbers far beyond that. This is an immigration, humanitarian, and national security crisis. And any American who's being honest can look at the, what's happening at the southern border and see that. It's unsustainable, unfathomable. We've never seen anything like it. Uh, and again, the crime that we are seeing being committed across this country, innocent Americans losing their lives. One victim should be one too many for Joe Biden. He should shut down this border, but he refuses to do so.
Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.